G'day, I'm Mr. Allen. Today we're going to try to find the uh, determine the concentration of uh, an iron thiocyanate solution at equilibrium only using our mobile phone. Okay, so let's have a look at how we could do that. Right, so we want to find out a concentration of so this is an equilibrium reaction that we're going to look at today. It's uh, iron thiocyanate is, uh, is uh, well, iron, we're going to use iron chloride with potassium thiocyanate. We're only interested in the uh, iron, 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 and the uh, thiocyanate iron. Okay, and that's, this is the reaction that makes a nice bloody red colour. Okay, the question is, because it's in a, a two-way reaction, um, we start off with some concentration of iron and thiocyanate, and, but we have to, um, at equilibrium, there will be some amount of uh, iron thiocyanate. The question is, how much is there? And can we calculate the equilibrium constant? Okay. Now, we're, not, we're just going to use a mobile phone. I'm thinking it's possible we can do this, okay? Just with a phone app. Okay, now um, this phone app, which I'll put a screenshot in later, um, it's going to collect um, it's going to collect green, red, blue light readings. Okay, I think it's called Colorimeter. There's a free version of it, um, and we're going to try to measure the absorbency. But let's have a look at this equation first. So here's the problem: we have um, a reaction. Okay, now we're going to start off with uh, 0 0.01 moles of iron um, as the uh, molarity uh, moles per litre of iron in this solution and we're going to mix it with a, a, a molarity of 0 0.02 moles per litre of thiocyanate. Now, if you, you, you would have been, if you're doing equilibrium um, reactions, you would know to set it out something like this. So, X here X here is what we need to solve for, okay? How do we do that? Well, um, well, let's say we could figure this out. If we knew this, then we can plug all this information into the equilibrium constant formula, okay? And that's going to give us our equilibrium constant. So, how can you do this with a phone? Well, um, if we look at Beer's law, okay, and we can find that uh, if we can determine the concentration here by rearranging this formula, if we know these other things here, if we know the absorbency, in other words, how much light is coming through, um, a, a given solution for the depth of that solution, they use L here for length in centimetres, and this is a factor a molar absor absorbency that's given for, that would be a known amount for a given compound. So we would know how much iron thiocyanate uh, absorbs light. Now there's a problem. We need to, uh, when they do these tests, they have a very specific frequency of light that they use and uh, they have um, uh, you know, very well calibrated instruments that detect that um, absorption okay, and that already have or you might have the um, molar absorbency already taken into account. So, because we don't have a known frequency, we're going to well, we're going to try to use green light from a green piece of paper. But we're we're going to have to calibrate it ourselves. And why not just get rid of these two things altogether and replace it with an F factor? Okay. That's a terrible F. Um, once we know the F factor, we can come back um, and we can then solve for the constant. Um, we can determine the absorbency, the uh, um, and we already know the concentration, so we'll be able to find F. And then once we find F, we can do this all over again to find the concentration of our um, sample at equilibrium. Now there is a problem with this because if you look here, how are we going to, we need to know 
we need to do this initial calibration with a known amount of iron thi uh, thiocyanate. Isn't that the whole problem that we're trying to find? Aha, uh -huh. well, what if we cheat a bit, okay? What if we, instead of having just one, uh, 0 0.1 molar here, what if we overload it, all right, saturate it, give it as much iron uh, ions as, as it, or iron chloride as it could possibly need, okay? If we dose it up with the iron, which way will that affect the equilibrium? Okay, it's going to shift it to the right. Now, theoretically, what's the maximum amount if everything is favouring this forward reaction? What's the maximum amount we could get in theory? It should be 0 0.02 because it's a you would lose all that and that goes into forming this iron thiocyanate. So let's, let's give that a go, okay? We're going to have to set up some samples to make this work. Now, what we want to have a look at here is how to calculate absorbency, okay? Now, um, we're using, we're trying to find factor F here, but um, it's the amount of light coming through the sample initially, uh, uh, the initial, I mean, sometimes you might use a clear solution. Here, if, if you were starting with a clear solution, because we have a slightly um, tinted uh, iron oxide, iron, sorry, hydroxide, it's a little reddy colour, so we're going to start off with the amount of light. Now, we're going to measure with our app the amount of green light passing through this um, sample because we've got a reddish type of um, solution so the complementary colour to that would be green. So um, we're going to measure an initial sample, the amount of light coming through and then um, and then our um, a sample that's got the iron thiocyanate in it. And this is a, a log function as well for this. Okay. Um, so let's have a look. So firstly we want to find F. So on the left here we have, um, this is the clearer solution now, but because we're loading it up with as much, uh, with a saturated solution of iron chloride, it's quite red to start with. So we've got to... Okay. Right, they've just turned the power off on me. Well, we will go on. Okay. This might look better anyway. Um, so we want to find this F factor and to do this is going to help us calibrate our ability, the, the amount of light coming through for our known, or we're assuming our known amount of um, iron thiocyanate. So firstly we need to find T initial which is how much light's coming through without the iron thiocyanate. Okay, now I figure we better not put the whole saturated amount in because we're going to be mixing it later anyway with a clear solution. So let's put half amount in the test tube of iron uh, chloride. Okay, uh, it's, some people might be using iron nitrate. Um, it doesn't doesn't really matter. Uh, so and then put some water in the top, and you're going to have your. It's still going to be a ready type of color, and we're going to measure some amount of green light coming through for that. T initial um, um, the sample. Okay, then we have to try to create. So we're going to have a potassium thiocyanate 0.02 moles per liter. So half your test tube with that. So three mils or four mils, and uh, and then you're going to put your saturated iron solution on top of that, and it should go fairly dark. Okay. Is if what we if our assumption here, which is pretty big assumption, but um, you know you could argue that this equilibrium is going to be pushed so far to the right that this number is very much going to be approaching, um, you know, the, the 0 0.02 moles um, of iron thiocyanate. 
All right, so once we got that, we're going to take a measurement, then we're going to plug it in to this, and then we're going to plug it in to this. So now you should have your, um, we know the concentration, we're going to say 0 0.02. Uh, we're going to say this, um, we, this is what we're trying to find, this factor to calibrate the stuff. Our absorbency is calculated here. Okay, and let's rearrange that to find that. All right. Now I'm going to go off, we'll go off in the lab and we'll, we'll test this. Now the thing is I'm filming with my phone, but I might take some screenshots. Um, okay, so once we've got that, then we can go ahead to find the um, we want to find the concentration of our non-saturated sample so again we're going to have to you, know, you wouldn't want to use a dark red color to as your initial um, uh, sample because um, it's much weaker and and it'll be darker than the uh, okay so but you do also perhaps don't want to use just water either there might be a slight tinge of the iron hydroxide okay so mix one sample up here for your initial t initial and then we're going to get our um, and this is going to be the sample we're going to try to determine the concentration of thio, um, iron thiosinate so if you mix half with the iron and the other half with the um, thiosinate you're going to get hopefully um, well, and that'll be some amount. Okay, so we're going back to zero there, and we're going to have some amount of X. And then we want to solve for X. And once we get that X, now we can use our factor from the previous one. Now, um, so you, we'll use factor, um, we'll know the absorbency, and we can solve for concentration. And once we know concentration, which we're saying is X here, we can plug it in and find our equilibrium. Okay. All right. So we have our concentrated or saturated iron chloride solution. We have our one molar, uh, sorry, 0 0.01 molar iron chloride solution and our potassium thiocyanate solution. Okay. Now, I've already measured these out. And I thought of something else as well, perhaps just to really try to push this equilibrium as far to the right as possible. If we put it in an ice bath, um, this will, this will, if you th think about the, um, uh, this is an exothermic reaction, so putting it in the, in the cold will push it to the right, okay? Now this will maximise further what should already be very close to our, um, um, hopefully, um, maximum possible yield. So, um, so with these two, we're going to measure the, the, the uh, F value, okay? And with these two, we're going to, using that F value, we're going to try to determine the concentration of this mixture. And that's the mixture of these two together, okay, in equal proportions. So, how are we going to do that? Well, hey, check out our green screen. Okay, so we're going to bounce light off this green piece of paper. And we're going to, um, let's try this first one. Put it in there. And then, you can see that we are only going to... S s Okay, now um, a certain amount of light, green light, is going to come through this. So, um, now I can't film this next bit, but I'll take some screenshots of the values I get. Okay, um, and so that'll be the first one. And, and this is to find the K value. This is the, um, the saturated solution half saturated half water of iron chloride. Let's test that out. So this is the app. It measures red, green and blue light coming through. You can see we've got a number here of 160. 
So we're going to use that. Okay, so we've got a green value of 160. Now we're going to try this one. Now, I might just wipe this. Try to get the condensation off it. Make sure it's dry. Might have to do this rather quickly. Okay, so this is as red as we can get it. Okay, uh, let's test it out. It's very important to sticky tape the box in place so the phone can be vertical when taking this reading and also so the box position doesn't move. Okay, so we got 72 as a reading for that one. Let's put this back. Right, so let's have a look at the maths for this. So to, this is to find F. So we've got the initial value okay, of, of green value on the phone coming through that solution of 160. Then our, you know, we're, 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 we're saying that it's 0.02 molar iron thiosinate. The green value coming through there is 72. So instead of comparing this to clear water, we're comparing it to an already red solution, although maybe we should, we might just test, hang on. No, there, there may be extra um, iron hydroxides in this, so we've got the, the slightly tinged iron hydroxide and the as red as we can make iron thiocyanate, we put it in to our equation here. Okay, so this is transmittance. This is like the, uh, it's a log value because, well, anyway, it, it increases exponentially as you increase the depth of it. But um, So we get our formula. We plug that in using concentration and we rearrange. So F is equal A over concentration, A over C. And we get our factor here, this is like a calibration factor, 17.34, okay? So we're going to use this now, and because that's, with all these test tubes are the same size, oh, actually, hmm, that could be something to take into account, just noticing a slight difference here, but for, the, for this purpose, okay, we'll say the same. Um, so everything is is, is as we you know, so we're going to use this now to try to find the concentration of the other one. Okay. So we're going to use now this is the 50 50 mix of these two. Okay, as our uh, base. Alright, so you can see there. Still a tinge to it. Let's um, take a reading. In doing this with the class earlier today, the initial solutions uh, had some suspended particles, so it's a good idea to let them sit for sediment for a while. Okay, so we've taken a reading, and the uh, let's it was one sixty-two. Okay, now. Um, this is the concentrate, the final one. This is what we want to test. All right. Um, so I'll go ahead and test that and we'll see what we've got. Okay, so that was just a little bit darker. It doesn't look like much is in it. That number was 158. Okay, so this was for the uh, unknown concentration of iron thiocyanate and 158. All right, so let's do the maths. First of all, we've got, we've got to find A, that's the log of 162 
Round that up. Okay, so remember that uh, what was it? A equals F X in this case. So X is going to equal A over F, which is zero point zero one zero eight six. Remember what was our number for F? 17.34 Okay Divide by 17.34 So which equals? Well, that's not very much there's an extra zero in that written answer there, but the calculation. Six. Remember, only starting with point oh one really theoretical maximum. Um, two, six. All right, so that's the x number. Now we know this. Oh, okay, so k e q is going to equal, remember that was the unknown x and our initial concentration for the iron was 0 0.01 minus x 0 0.02 minus x oh, Alright, let's dab it in, oops, spill this stuff, not good, okay Right, so that's x there. Let's just divide that by, put it on in the calculator. Answer times that 0.02 minus another one. Oh my. All right, yeah, more accurate this time. Holy cow, look at that. I thought it would be a factor of 10. Or, well, I was hoping to get within a factor of 10. Look at that. You know what the KQ for, for iron thiocyanate is? Woo! Pretty close. And that's what you can do with your phone and just a bit of green paper.